MSI benchmarked the 4060 Ti 16 gig in. <laughs> Overwatch has to move to Steam for reasons. And the reasons that get me excited for AMD's future are their APUs. As always. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This July 21st, Friday. Is you what said it is. all the words that I couldn't think of. You can't remember my no. little. <laughs> Don't forget, we're actually giving away a PC today over hey, on yo. our Twitch stream. We have a 4070 Ti Galax PC with a 1440p 165 hertz Vivance monitor. Come join us over there to find out about that giveaway. We also will set the stage for what the giveaways will look like when we do our drive stream to LTX next week because they're gonna be many, they're gonna be numerous, and they're gonna be fierce. You better believe me. I have been bedridden with shingles for a very long time. A lot of people have noted my appearances in recent hot news that I was high on painkillers. So many comments. I was not. I've been off painkillers for several days now. I'm That's out. Just they bread. Went, they wouldn't get I'm this is just me. I'm not as funny as Kyler, but at least I can news. So let's news it up with the 4060 Ti 16 gig because we found out that nobody got this card. MSI actually didn't even know what this card was capable of until they benchmarked it themselves on their little MSI Insider live show that they have where they oh showcase that this thing, oh boy is right, is slow. Er, than the 4060 <laughs> Ti 8 gig. Wouldn't you know? They found out that, I mean, mostly these are like within margin of error, especially because the testing wasn't very thorough, but slower in Cyberpunk, slower in F1, slower by four FPS in Rainbow Six. It is faster in CSGO. We gotta, we gotta give it props. That's an extra 26 FPS, Reese. That's what I need when I'm clocking in at 400 FPS. I know. I know, I've seen you. Well, you're staring at that counter going, give me more. Yeah. Other than that, I, I mean, this looks like a massive nothing burger of a GPU and a nothing burger of a thing. But the the thing to know here is that MSI took their video down <laughs> afterwards, which I don't know if this is like standard procedure where they kind of take these down after they're done or if uh, Papa Jensen might have cooked up a little hurt for them and said, hey, made our new launch look bad. Get rid of it. We didn't make it look bad. You, you did by showing everybody what it's capable of. That's what happens when you don't give people drivers. Where were they going to go to? They don't need to go to a restaurant. They got Jensen's Kitchen right yeah, there. Yeah, there's nothing. This is what Intel's saying when it comes to Project Endgame. Do you know about this, Reese? You know, I did not. You didn't know about Intel's Project Endgame? This, in case you didn't know, was their cloud GPU that they were going to serve up to you so you could play video games on your little Ultrabook that you had right there. Stadia at home. Sort of. Yeah, kind of like GeForce Now. It, they showed this off in 2022 and on an Ultrabook, they showed how the Ultrabook sucked at running Matrix Awakens, which was that Unreal Engine 5 demo. You remember that? Is that what they're showing off? That yeah. was. And so the Ultrabook couldn't run it, but then when they hooked it up to Endgame, continual compute for the immersive web is what they called it, it could run very quickly. So uh, th their efforts are on hold. They have no updates. As long as they don't cancel Battle Mage or Celestial gaming GPUs, I'm fine. Keep giving us the gaming GPUs. You can do whatever yeah. you want on the server side. Set your focus. Set S your focus. Just laser in on giving us gaming GPUs. Intel, I swear to high heavens, if you do, if you drop out of the gaming GPU sector, I'm gonna have to scream. I will be genuinely sad. It'll hurt so badly. But yes, it was like Stadia, but for GPU power. They, allegedly, there was like no licensing or like they didn't have to do anything that GeForce Now does to provide the servers because they're not playing the games on the cloud server. It's playing locally, but the use of like a cloud GPU was a cool idea. I'm kind of sad that it's gone. And I'm kind of sad that you and Kyler invented all of these neat transitions for UFD deals. We had to do something. Can, can we try one? Can we like phase into each other or something? Oh, you want to? You wanna... I was going to. And welcome back to UFD Deals, bringing you the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Today we're starting off with something I hold near and dear to my heart, which is 3D printing. Even though I don't have a 3D printer, I like the concept. And thankfully this Elegoo Mercury X bundle, which is a washing and curing station, is going for only $117.99, making it $102 off. Does it print too? No. But then next up we have something not for you gamers, but it's something for you photo editors. Not for you nerds. No, you get nothing. We have the Asus Pro 27 inch 1440p 75 hertz monitor with a Delta 
E color score of less than two. Comes factory calibrated out of the box, so you're good to go. It has 75 hertz, so you can like enjoy a little bit more than the little bit average of. bear. And at only $224, it is currently $95 off. And last but not least, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, which is going for only $297, making it $252 off for a gigantic CPU. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Well, that was fun. Thank you, Reese, for the You're deals. Welcome. And Cybertruck deals are coming up from Elon Musk letting us know the deal with the Cybertruck. Because What it, is the deal with the Cybertruck? There's been a lot of sparse details, but they had their Q2 earnings report, which it was a very disappointing earnings report because they had like some weird one-off income thing that didn't come from operation was the only reason they beat expectations. And it was for like half a billion dollars and they didn't really explain what it was. Anyways, people are wondering what's going on. Cybertruck, you rolled one off of the production line they didn't tell anything about the price or you know a lot of the details but they did let everybody know that it's a 19 foot truck with a six foot bed which for you reese might not mean anything no, those are fake numbers those are fake numbers so it's roughly six meters in length roughly and then it has a two meter bed roughly it's not exactly but you're lying well this is different than like my f-150 lightning because my f-150 lightning is 19 and a half feet with a five and a half foot bed so it's half a foot shorter with an extra long bet. We were just talking about this during our drive stream. They're also testing it around the world for final certification and validation, but the only thing they didn't test it for is, why has it gotta be so ugly? <laughs> I like the look of it, man. It it got worse. It did get worse. It it looks it uglier now yeah. that it's like, I don't, that. but like they, this is, the front fender is different. The freaking side view mirrors are all weird. The gigantic wiper that swipes across. It's a whole swiper, thing. Swiper, no swiping. It's gonna swipe so fast that you're gonna lose all visibility. Also, Tesla announcing that they are at least in talks with the major OEM to license out their full self-driving autonomous driving Ooh. technology, which could have been cool if this was a thing that they were talking about four or five years ago, because back then Tesla's autopilot was actually the best self-centering lane driving thing out there and now all of the companies have had time to catch up additionally elon has only said that they're talking they're in discussions which he said that hyperloop was in discussion with dc and like politicians to build a hyperloop from washington dc to new york and like how did that work out yeah that never happened so when elon says they're in discussions about things that is honestly a meaningless statement so we'll find out if the full self-driving gets licensed anywhere and in case you have to watch out for other cars that are trying to aggressively run you over. It's great stuff. That was made up. It, it hasn't run over nobody. Tesla's aren't real. And Overwatch 2 is kind of abandoning its home place, coming to Steam. Battle.net might not be real anymore. Yeah, no, frick Battle.net. I oh, hate Battle.net. Really? Yeah. Oh, why? Because it's just, it's so much extra. <laughs> I want like one, one game launcher, one game manager, just, are you saying you're pro Monopoly? I'm pro Monopoly. Can't argue with that. Who knows, more Blizzard stuff might be making its way to Steam, but this is coming on August 10th. Do you guys care about Overwatch 2 anymore? Like, what's going on there? There's a whole esports league debacle where yeah, they're losing like over a hundred million dollars somehow. It just feels like nobody cares. I don't see anyone talking about Overwatch. Is this just like this trying time... to get more players now, making it more accessible on Steam? Well, Team Fortress 2 just saw a huge resurgence because they did an update, <laughs> like their highest player count ever. Yeah, but like, and so now the Team Overwatch... Fortress 2 was Overwatch before Overwatch was. Overwatch. Well, if they come out with Overwatch, Overwatch 3, does that mean that Valve loses because they counted to three? They won't make it to three. Okay. And it looked for a while like Dolphin Emulator wasn't going to make it. It was on the operating floor. It oh, turned, yeah. Because they had a cease and desist from Nintendo saying, hey, don't put this on the Steam store page. But it turns out Dolphin and all of the people behind it decided to go talk to a real lawyer, not just uh, Nintendo's threatening letter. And they said that, uh, well, it sounded extremely bad at a glance, and they certainly had a moment of panic after first reading it. I bet. They have now done their homework and have talked to a lawyer and they are no longer concerned. Specifically because of arguments that Dolphin's not primarily designed or produced for the purpose of circumventing protection, which is the main argument that Nintendo was making. Dolphin is just saying that like that is a small part of what we have to do in order to produce the emulator. So that can't be considered that we are primarily designed for circumventing. So you got to stop. Additionally, they're saying that they believe Dolphin is not in any legal danger and that they will be moving forward with their Steam launch. It just won't happen 
have a coming soon page because that's specifically what Nintendo asked for it to be taken down with Valve. So it seems like it. Yeah, Nintendo's lawyers are scary, man. Yeah. But when you have a community behind you, somebody who believes that this is injustice, like uh, eventually people are going to get sick of Nintendo being as aggressive as they are. Maybe one day they'll lose favor with everybody, which you would think. But Nintendo still doing really well with the Switch. People not liking NVIDIA and they still have 90% GPU market share. That's true. Most people just don't pay attention to the things we talk about here at Hot News. And most people don't talk about APUs, but I'm in love with them. I freaking love APUs. APU gang. You and me together, we can marry an APU together. Yeah. We're going to Vegas. <laughs> yes! We're going on a road trip next week. It's happening. Anyways, we're getting details popping up of the upcoming 8050 APUs coming out from Ryzen, known as Strix Point. And what it turns out is that this thing is going to be... You think your Z1 Extreme in your ROG ally is nice and fast? It's mm. nice and fast. This is going to be something on another level. So we're expecting that these will be between 12 and 16 cores. So there's the Strix Point, which is the regular one, and Strix Halo, which is going to be the the Halo, the, the an flagship APU. one. Yeah, in an APU. So 12 cores, four Zen cores, either four Zen 5 cores with eight Zen 5C cores, which are their dense little ones. We talked about previously, people thought the C cores were like the efficiency cores that Intel has. AMD came out and was like, no, these are full cores that we figured out how to smush. So they're just, they're full, full power. Mini but boys. Just mini boys. Or it'll be eight full cores with four C cores. Not quite sure, but it'll have 16 compute units of RDNA three and a half. So this is going to be 33% more compute units than what's in the ROG Ally. And it likely is going to be a little bit faster than that. So we're looking between 35 and 40% faster than the ROG Ally. Just like... The handheld game about to go Specs crazy. alone, yeah. So they're looking at 28 to 54 watts, so you can get a lot more out of the top. But then the Strix Halo, 16 cores with 40 compute units of RDNA 3.5. 40. That is over three times what's in the Ally right now. Now, the, the TDP on that, 55 to 120 watts, so we're likely not going to see that in handhelds. But you throw this in any sort of, like, nominal gaming laptop, friggin' the cooling on that's going to be able to handle this APU, and then you're you don't even need a GPU anymore. Yeah. That's going to be insane. I am all for this. That's like, that's PS5 beating levels of numbers. AMD, this better be real. I want it. I want it in my system. And I want you to come watch us over on Twitch so that we can do giveaways with you. Additionally, we are going to LTX next week. Drive streaming. At least we'll be drive streaming together. We don't know if Reese can get into Canada yet. What's up with your passport, man? It sucks. South African passports. It's weak sauce. Not lacquer. Not lacquer. Cock.